Legend of Total War here. This is just a quick update video to let you guys know what's going on. All right, first thing I want to talk about is, I guess, um, my secondary channel. Um, I'm not sure um, a lot of you are actually aware that I actually even have a secondary channel, even though for every video in the past, like, three years, I've had a link in the description to, to go to my secondary channel, because I do get a lot of comments from people saying, hey, are you ever going to play Hearts of Iron 4 or whatever? I'm like, are you ever going to read the the description? Um Guys, if you, if you want to see non-Total War content, go to my secondary channel, because I've got... I mostly focus on strategy games over there, but I've got a Hearts of Iron 4 campaign, um, Stellaris campaign, um, I've got two uh, Mountain Blade campaigns currently running, and of course, you know, if you if you look back in, in, in the older playlists, you know, I've got Dawn of War 40k, um, Age of Empires 3. There's, there's plenty of other series there. If, if you're sick of me just covering Total War, go visit my secondary channel. Um, I, I would say that I put a lot less effort into that one, but you might find something of, of interest there. At least now, you're aware of it. Um, and um, secondly, um, I guess I want to give a big thank you to those of you who have supported me on Patreon. Uh, I didn't expect to get really any money out of Patreon. I, I, you know, when I started up, it's just because people were, were messaging me saying, how can I support you? I'm just like, Take off your fucking ad block. Um, but some people are like, I don't want to take off my ad block. I'd rather actually give you money. And I'm like, all right, I got to stop uh, turning money away. So I created a Patreon. And I'm really surprised to see that I, I, this month of $200 in donations, which is really, um, that's a lot. So I just want to give a big thank you to everyone that has actually donated on Patreon. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't have any rewards for anyone on Patreon, but I have actually been thinking about it. So... Um, it is very much appreciated, and you guys are, are really helping me in, in regard, because the money that I'm going to get from that, I'm going to put that away to purchase a new computer, so that I can actually produce better content for you guys, um, instead of, you know, the five frames per second, um, low res, total war warhammer shit that I have been producing since day one. Um, uh, next thing I want to talk about is in regard to the hot seats, so the stainless steel 6.4 hot seat, we're now on turn two. Um, so it took us, what, two months to get there, maybe a bit longer, but we're finally on turn two. Uh, you'll start seeing footage as of turn three. I think the remaining uh, guys we have are very committed, so um, it should start speeding up a bit because um, uh, Warrior Spider dropped out ages ago and uh, Surreal Beliefs has now dropped out because um, scheduling conflicts and that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, larger YouTubers have a lot more on their plate and... Um, hot seats can get a bit overwhelming um, with it. So what we've had to do is instead, because the Holy Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire had to have someone playing it in order for the balance to be maintained. Um, we put old Total Warrior, who was playing as Hungry, in as the Byzantine Empire, and um, and uh, Gamersville 101 from Quaresmian Empire to Holy Roman Empire, which means that um, Hungary and Quaresmian Empire has been turned AI. Okay, um, the next thing I want to talk about is in regard to comments. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube lately, but for some reason I'm completely unable to, to respond to comments or even post comments on my own videos. I have no idea why that is. It's as if I've actually banned myself, um, which I should probably check to see if I've actually done that, um, which would be very weird. Um, but yeah, if you guys have questions or anything and you're posting them in the comment section of any video, just note that I'm completely unable to respond to them. Um, I can read them, which is fine. Um, but yeah, whenever I try and post anything on, on a comment, it just says unable to post comment. And this has been going on for weeks. I thought it was something that would pass after a couple of days. Now I've tried using different computers, different browsing, um, different internet browsers, and it all says that I can't post comments. So I don't know why that's happening. Um, and I guess, I don't know, it, it's not that important that I, I respond to comments. Because look, if you guys have a, uh, a question or anything like that, your best place to get an answer would be go to Facebook and send me a message there. Because even if I take a couple of days to respond, I always go through and respond to every single one of the, of, of the messages unless it doesn't warrant a response. Like if it's just a, a troll message or a hater message, which I never actually get hater messages on Facebook. Um, that's just an example. Um, so troll messages, I wouldn't respond to. I'm just, I'm just, I don't have time to get into a fucking internet argument with people with keyboard warriors. But if you've got a legitimate question, or if you just want to send in some fan mail or whatever, then 
Um, Facebook is the best place to do it. I will definitely read it. It's a lot easier for me to uh, to categorize it there. Um, I've actually been thinking about uh, picking up Twitter lately because everyone seems to be on Twitter. And it seems like me not being on Twitter, I'm damaging my own channel. But the problem is that I think Twitter is just fucking shit. Um, it's just... It's just a, a toxic cesspool of fuckwits. Um, like, if you look at... Like, I've, I've mentioned it a few times, but I, I've been following a lot of, the, like, the huge YouTubers, not the Total War YouTubers, like, um, Leafy is here, Scarce, PewDiePie, Keemstar, all, all of those guys, and how toxic some of the, the things in, in Twitter can be. Like, these huge um, fucking fights over Twitter, and it's just so immature. And this is coming from me, you know, I have the maturity of a five-year-old. Um... But let's just put me off Twitter completely. I've got about a hundred followers on Twitter, and like I'm, I, I do have a Twitter channel, guys, like a Twitter account. So if you wanted to go and follow me, I make I make a uh, I make a post, I make a tweet about once a year, um, and it's usually just a retweet of someone else's crap. Um, so I don't I don't usually use Twitter. I mostly use Facebook. Facebook is the best place to contact me. But if you wanted to follow me on on, fa- on Twitter, if I had enough people following me on Twitter, I would start to use it. I wouldn't like it, but... I don't know, because I just think Twitter's shit. Anyway, the uh, next thing I want to talk about is in regard to Total War Warhammer. Now, I've been getting a lot of people messaging me lately saying just how disappointed they are with Total War Warhammer, and in many ways, I feel you. Total War Warhammer is, in many ways, very disappointing. Um... It, it mostly, I guess, in regard to campaign design, I would think the campaign design is terrible. It's it's really bad. I mean, they haven't had a good campaign design for since Shogun Two, really. And even then, I'm like, yeah, Medieval Two was better. Um, so I've I've now clocked about a thousand hours on Total War Warhammer, even though most of the, a lot of those hours have been my me being AFK um, or asleep. Um, so probably more like seven to eight hundred hours actual gameplay on Total War Warhammer. And it's gotten to the point where I don't feel like playing it for a while, which is probably bad because, you know, it's it's the newest Total War game. Um, there's there's still quite a few things going on. They've still, they've still got a lot of DLC to, to release. But another thing is that I don't like dealing with Creative Assembly a lot of the time. Like, I find them to be very hostile towards me. I don't know if that's true or not, but I send messages and I don't get responses or I get I get irrelevant responses, um, you know. Whenever I've been asked for feedback and I give the feedback, I've get, been given hostile responses, sort of things. Um, uh, I think their communication. I don't know how they communicate with the other Total War YouTubers, and I've asked them. Um, but generally speaking, um, I think Creative Assembly really doesn't do a very good job with communication with the community and with uh, YouTubers in general. Well, I suppose we are part of the community. I think for a very large degree, there's an elitist attitude at Creative Assembly and that they are... I think that the PR people, basically, are the ones saying, hey, guys, we want your feedback. And then they pass the feedback on to the developers who go, fuck off, cunt. That's basically... Um, the feeling that I get from it and that they're just going to do whatever the fuck they want and whatever the fuck they feel like is going to make money. Which, you know, they can do whatever they want and, you know, I'll still I'm still buy it. Well, I get Total War games for free. Um, I'll still metaphorically buy the Total War games, uh, still play them, but I am getting to the point where it's like, I, I think that the future of Total War as, in regard to a grand strategy game, like a great strategy game, is is dead. Um, strategy in Total War Hammer is non-existent. There is no strategy in Total War Warhammer. It's just, oh look, this unit looks pretty. Uh, this unit here has got good stats. Um, the strategy element has got is just stupid because it just auto resolve everything. It, it, auto resolving everything is the best way to handle it. And if that's the case, it's so stupid. I mean, I've brought this up to them so many times. They need to fix the fucking auto resolve. And I've had people, of course, message me saying, oh, quit complaining about auto resolve. I'm telling you, strategy wise. Auto resolve has to be fucking fixed. It had to be fixed in Rome Total War. It had to be fixed in Total War Tiller. Never got fixed. Um, and if they release the next historical Total War and the auto resolve is still fucking shit, I'm probably not even going to endorse the fucking game. Uh, so I don't know what they're going to do in that regard because they're. they're like, I don't want to complain about them. I know I rant about Creative Assemblies every now and again, but they're. In my opinion, I love strategy. I love to be to have options and I love to do things in a campaign map, uh, campaign map. I don't care about how pretty things look 
and it seems like they don't care about strategy. So we've got this hu huge disagreement here, I feel it like me and them. And like, I'm gonna push as hard as I can to get strategy, bring strategy back into fucking Total War. Like, they can still have the pretty stuff. I'm not saying take it out. Like, if you really wanna have the pretty shit that makes the, the, the critics uh, get wet in their panties, Fine, I don't give a fuck about critics. And if, if you're one of those people that go straight to Metacritic and look at the critics' reviews for Total War games, you're doing it wrong because critics don't fucking play Total War games, okay? You check the user reviews. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm at with Total War Warhammer. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Total War. Um, I've made a career on Total War. I will do anything to fucking make Total War great. And I feel like the way I handle it with Creative Assembly can be a. a, a perceived as being unhelpful or hostile towards them but that's just my way of of trying to give feedback and it's i've always been that way um because i don't feel like coming at them with a nice approach or or a soft approach is effective at all but then again my harsh approach is not effective either so we can't do anything anyway um okay so i guess that leads me to my next um uh topic in regard to my own channel and um I guess the stagnation of it. Now I'm aware that I have been going sideways for the past two months. Ever since, it's like just after Total War Warhammer's release. Um, I can I've had a quite a bit of time to reflect as to why this happened. All right, so Total War Warhammer was released, and I made fucking tons of content. I must have recorded three, four hundred episodes um, within the first few patches, which was a humongous mistake. I shouldn't have done that. It was stupid. Um, in hindsight. Um, and it burned me out completely. Um, so, but now I've got all these campaign videos that need to go online. They take forever to upload, and I can't. I, I've got like 17 concurrent series running. I can't start anything new. If I want to start something new, I've got then got 18 or 17 series running. It's too many because people are noticing it now. Like, for example, Dwarfen campaign, which I released um, episode today. Um, I don't think I'd release an episode prior to that for more than a week. And that shouldn't be the case. I should be releasing episodes uh, of any given series twice a week at the very least. And um, I can't do that because, you know, I've got 17 series that need to be uploaded. Some of these some of these videos are, you know, because I do long videos, an hour, you know, that, that could take half a day to upload. So my computer is constantly fucking running. I never turn it off. Um, constantly uploading. And I still can't hit these, these things. Uh, these, um these goals that I want to reach. But um, that also leads me to think that maybe I should um, start doing things a little bit differently. Like, I'll definitely always do campaign videos. Um, the thing is, there's different types of campaigns as well. Like, th taking the example of Europa Barbarorum 1 campaign, I recorded 196 episodes of that, which you might go, well, that's a fuckload of episodes. But, you know, EB. EB runs as, as the slowest fucking campaign you do, and I conquered the entire map, and it took me for bloody ever. Um, but even from day one, I said, I reckon that this will not run. This will be a bad series on my channel because for one thing, Europa Barbarorum is so slow paced. That I can't imagine you guys sitting there watching a pike battle for half an hour as being interesting. And in many ways I was right. Um, cause I, I, you guys can say, oh yeah, I wish you'd play Seleucid Empire or whatever. And that's what you, you think you want me to watch that, but you don't actually want to watch it. Um, so this is why I don't put things to vote very often because you guys have a tendency of, of voting for things that you don't actually want to watch, of which sounds silly, but th that's what happens. Um, so the Europa Barbarorum campaign, just so you guys know what my feelings are on that. I know a lot of you would uh, do comment and say that the Europa Barbarorum campaign is your favorite, but the, the EB campaign is my least favorite. I, have, I wished I didn't do it because on average it gets about... 2,000, 3,000 views, which is not much. Put that in perspective in money, that's about um, $4. Okay, now $4 for a video that took me an hour to produce, that's if it didn't crash. Then it takes four hours to upload. Then I gotta do the thumbnails and all the tags and all the other shit and respond to comments. We're looking at, you know, quite a few hours worth of work there for $4. Um, and of course, I, like I said, I don't do this for the money, and I, I enjoyed playing the game, except I fucking hated Pikes. God damn it, I wish you guys didn't, uh, didn't choose Pikes. I wish you guys had chosen something else, but it doesn't matter. Um, it's all done now. But yeah, just to put things in perspective, sometimes money can really get in the way of making, I guess, um, content that you guys would really want, and which is somewhat why I can appreciate the constraints with Total War Warhammer. 
they need to do things that are going to make them money. And if they need to cut corners in order to make money, at the end of the day, that's what they have to do. But I just feel like too much has been cut out um, to justify um, the, them trying to make more money all the time. We've we got to bring strategy back to Total War. Anyway, I'm going back to the previous topic. But yeah, so as for my channel, channel reform, I know this is turning into be a long update video, but I just want to get everything out of the table so you guys know what where I'm at because I'm in a state of limbo at the moment. I'm just like about to start a campaign then I go why bother I mean it's just going to end up the exact same way I'm going to end up making 40 episodes and then it's going to it's just going to make things bad so what I've been thinking about is making some some more standalone videos now by that I don't mean like multiplayer battles I really don't enjoy multiplayer battles I know a lot of you um, did message me and say that I should focus a bit more on multiplayer but the thing is I want to focus on things that I enjoy and you guys can tell the difference between when I play a campaign on Medieval 2 and a campaign on Warhammer. When I play a campaign on Warhammer, I get comments like, quit complaining, uh, why are you always whinging, this guy sounds like he's not enjoying the game, that kind of shit. When I play Medieval 2, it's the complete opposite. People can tell I'm enjoying the game, I get right into it, I get, you know, I just enjoy myself. And I think that you guys enjoy it more when I enjoy it as well. So I need to focus on that kind of stuff. So one of the trends that I've been following as well, because... I, I gotta watch what everyone else is doing and not necessarily copy them but just you know I can get inspiration from from what they're doing um, a lot of the things that are trending at the moment are standalone videos on massive battles now by massive battles it, you know you'll, you'll see it from like a number of youtubers they put massive or huge or, or epic usually those type of clickbaity titles um, it's not it's not as clickbaity as, as like the huge youtubers but whatever it's like 16,000 people 20,000 uh, entities on the um on the battlefield, there's nothing particularly special about the battle except it might be on like um, the 1212 AD mod or something like that, which I don't have. I've, I've said I'm not going to touch it until the campaign uh, comes out. And um, these videos, they do phenomenally well just because they're like really massive, even if the frame rate's like two frames per second, which in perspective, all of the, I probably have the crappiest computer out of any of the Total War YouTubers, so I can't actually do those type of videos. Um, but Looking at those videos gives me a few ideas. I've, I don't want to copy them, but the thing is, as I've, I've, I've brought this up many, many times before, just if I do start making these videos, just as a disclaimer, everyone knows I'm Australian, and one, I don't really identify too much with being Australian, but one thing I definitely do like to do is I love to take the piss. Um, so just be warned, I'm probably going to take the piss out of people for a bit. Uh, I don't mean it as insults, it's just that um, I just... I like taking the piss out of people. And I, I have no problem with taking the, people taking the piss out of me, as long as they're not outright insulting. I mean, if you can't tell the difference, then I think you've got Down Syndrome. But, um, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah. So, hopefully some new, uh, different content will be coming out soon. I really want to finish up, uh, as in get all these, uh, a lot of these um, um, campaigns that I've got running online, just so I can clean the slate and have probably more along the lines of six, seven, or eight series concurrently running at any given time not 16 it's too many um but yeah um i'll be watching uh, reading the comments uh, pretty diligently on this particular video so if you guys have um video suggestions now i'm not talking about like specific videos but if you have like general ideas um i can't respond to them obviously because youtube's fucking me over but um Post them in the comments. Give me some ideas on what to do because I'm really sitting here at the moment going, oh, fuck, I don't even know what to do. Um, and I even went back to Ark uh, Survival Evolved for a couple of days there and, and thought, what if I was to bring Ark over to the main channel, even though you guys didn't respond to Ark very well uh, on that. And, you know, I played with a couple of you guys on Ark over the past few days and it was a lot of fun. Problem with Ark, though, is it becomes it becomes an obsession. It's, it's too addictive. Um, I don't... I haven't... I haven't committed to whether or not I'm actually going to play Ark again. Um, it's probably probably a better idea for my life if I don't, uh, just because it, it just controls you. Um, anyway, I think that's enough of me blabbering on. So I'll be in touch, and hopefully I'll create some new good content and um, stay being a fucker. Also, in regard to Fucktember, Fucktember is ending 30th of September. 
or fuck Timber. Uh, I think it's been a, a great success. I haven't really participated in it very much in the second half because I've been busy. But everyone has been post uh, doing hashtag fuck Timber and it's been great. But that being said, guys, there is no fucktober. Please don't br uh, bring it over to fucktober. Um, it's not special if we do it every single fucking month, okay? Uh, if we want, we can do it again next year. But, yeah, come October, quit the fucktober stuff because... Um, it just, it, it devalues it, I reckon. Anyway, I'll see you next time, fuckers.